What's up, everybody? Thank you guys for joining me today. Another Lupac Sunday review. This one is Spicy DeMaio, Volume 15, Lupac Sunday, Volume 15, which was released last week, Sunday. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to get right to it. Uh, I opened up Studio One for a change. It's been a minute since I cooked up in Studio One. I usually be mixing in Studio One, but this week I thought, let me open up the MPC as a plug-in and work that way. So you know what it is, man. I'm going to run through the the tracks. They are free 99 by the way. The link is in the description if you didn't get it throughout the course of last week. It's in this description box so go ahead and grab it for free 99 as well as the expansion packs that was released uh you know a few weeks back those links are also in the description you know what i mean so if you are a npc user and you don't have any of those expansion packs what you waiting for join club all right so let's get into some of these sounds So those five came from CMP. Let's get into the next five, which is from MG the Future. So those are all the joints. Again, the link is in the description. It is free 99. So, you know what I mean? Let's get these loops placed. You feel me? So, for the next half of this video, you're going to see what I did with it. I already uh, cooked up. But if you went to the cook up, let's get to it. All right, boom. So, we got this. Uh, we dragged in this joint from MG. It's called Venice. So it sounds so smooth the way that it is. I'm not even sure if I want to tune it or what I really want to do with it. So what I, I'm going to do is I got these drums. I 
I got those drums inside of the NPC. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just mess with it to see if I come up with something. I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna record these uh these drums in. Uh, forgot it's in uh plugin mode, so I gotta go to tool no edit preferences. Um, where's that? General settings. To host DAW. Okay. All right.
Alright, boom. So now that I got that drum set, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to name these drums. Because what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to export it or uh, explode the track, separate it as single tracks. Um, but I am going to make another sequence. And this one, I'm going to be more, more up tempo with the with the the drum placements. That sounds real smooth. So what I'm gonna do is a save. And I don't know if I wanna actually tune it. I feel like pitching it, but I don't know. It sounds so good the way it sounds right now. Right now, right now. Drop a mix tool on his joint.
So what I'm gonna do is let me open this up so y'all can have a view. I'm going to uh, export. Blah, 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 no. Interesting. That's the world. I want to be on this one. Um, so you would go to edit track right here where it says explode. You would select that now it gives it all these <laughs> tracks so i'm gonna get in i'm gonna edit that up and then get back to you hold up all right so we got all the drums basically uh exploded out on separate tracks so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to individually go through each track and uh Hold on. I'm going to individually go through each track one by one. And I'm going to drag them out. Something like this. I'll export the audio and then I'll drag it right here. Let me see. So that's not what I wanted it to do. So let me do this. So what I want it to do is go to edit and go to preferences, go to record export right here audio export i want it on track all right boom so now when i do this that should just be the kick drum all right so i'm gonna do that with several tracks so when i when we get back i'll have them all situated for the situation you feel me hold up all right so now i got the drums all the drums uh inside of the arrange window inside of studio one so i turned off the mpc and <clears throat> now i'm just gonna you know try to arrange it some way somehow you feel me so let's see let me see
You know what I mean? Something like that. Um, this joint, it got like a soulful vibe. That's why I really don't even want to mess with the sample too much. Uh, I don't want to chop it. I just wanted to to vibe with it, you know what I mean, and drop the drums out here and there. It gives me kind of like this Kanye um, college dropout kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But that's that's the the zone that the the vibe that I get. You feel me? Like that, you got a joint, you know what I mean? Like, I'm in my zone, I'm, I'm cooking up. I'm not sure how far, how long this video is going to be because you're viewing the, the edited version at this point. But, um, you know what I mean? You add your little effects, switch your joint up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? This particular joint, though, it gives me a vibe, like it's nostalgic to me in a way. Shout out to MG for actually uh, hitting that hitting that button. You know what I'm saying? For taking it back to back in the days. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like early Kanye, man. Like you know, what I mean, this is this is that ballpark that I be wanting to get into in that zone sometimes. And when you try to, you know, I always say don't force it. So. Anytime I feel like I'm forcing something, I not give up on it, but I put it off for an extended period of time. Then I'll be on a sabbatical. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this joint give me that vibe. Like, that's why I didn't even try to tune it. I didn't try to pitch it or anything because it speaks to me. You know what I mean? Hopefully, it speaks to the artist whenever that happens, right? So let's play it from the top.
You know what I mean? I mean, I could add tons of stuff. I could, you know, I could half time him. I could do, I could do a bunch of different things, which I don't think I'm going to do. Besides, you know what I mean? Like just extend this beat to be a, a full beat. Drop out some drum sounds here and there. Um, I don't even need a bass because the the sample has a bass. And it's that old school kind of, you know what I mean? There is actually much more that I can do now that I'm listening to it. Like, you know what I mean? I could add other instruments, but I'm going to keep it super simple, never basic. Shout out to CMP. Shout out to MG, the future. If you don't have this um, loop pack, this was the Cinco de Mayo loop pack released last week on May 4th or May 5th. May 5th, right? Last week, Sunday. The link is in the description. Thank y'all guys so much for making it this far in the video. If you have made it this far in the video, I appreciate you so much. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you become at liberty to be notified. Right? Do remember that music is life. It is our DNA, y'all. Uh, keep banging. Peace. Love, light. Till next time. And do remember that time is valuable it's one of the most precious gifts that we don't have an abundance of so make use of it all right love and light till next time Peace. Love and light, y'all. Peace.